The military has ruled Ituri province for a month. But four weeks under an unprecedented state of siege wasn't enough to prevent this. One of the deadliest attacks to hit the region in at least four years. In displacement camps and villages near Boga and Tachabi, fighters from the Allied Democratic Forces unleashed a night of violence. We were attacked by the rebels during the night. They killed my neighbors and burned them in their house before even arriving in my area. I ran and escaped, but they got here and they burned my children in my house. The rebels abducted at least 25 survivors. Shelters and stores were burned to the ground. Now the area is marked with mass graves. Already displaced, the UN says the attacks have forced nearly 6,000 people to flee again, many with nothing but the clothes they were wearing. It's calling for more security, saying there's an urgent need to protect civilians. And the Congolese army claims it can provide that. With martial law extended until mid-June, the military governor of Atori's visit to the area was all strength and determination. The president of the republic sent me with a clear message, which is to bring peace by all means. I have a special message for all of you. Please tell your brothers and sisters to come out peacefully from the bush. Otherwise, we will defeat them by force. But the scale of the task can't be underestimated. Violence has plagued these eastern provinces for years, with more than 100 armed groups operating in the dense forests. Attacks on civilians have surged in the last two years, killing thousands of Congolese and displacing more than five million. The announcement of military rule, an attempt to stop that violence, was met with skepticism. Critics worried the military, already accused of rights violations and corruption, could exploit its new power. Now, four weeks in, activists are dismayed that the near-daily attacks have continued. The military authorities are wasting time when they could be conducting the real operation against the rebels and tackling insecurity on the ground. Unfortunately, as the army is still in the office preparing their strategy, every day on the ground the enemy continues to massacre our populations. But the government says there's been some success. The army's taken control of new areas and numerous fighters have surrendered. Parliament will reevaluate military rule once these 15 days are up. But for those streaming through these roads, fleeing more attacks, they say the only thing that's saved them so far is a higher power. Alexandra Byers, Al Jazeera.